What is up guys, my name is Mark Reitinger and today I'm going to be coming at you with what I think is a super useful video. You read the title, you know what this is about, so let's get into it. So a little background on my first store. I was like 15 at the time and I discovered Shopify and I just thought it was the coolest thing. I really thought that I was going to be rich and just all this. So I did a little bit of research on YouTube and I kind of focused more on actually building your store. I use YouTube videos as just ideas instead of a basis to build my store on and that was a huge mistake. I really thought that that was smarter than these gurus and that I could do a better job than them. So long story short, I basically built a general store and I'm way too focused on products but not in the right way. I'm looking through like these dropship product catalogs and like Etsy dropshipping and all these weird third party dropshipping sites because I thought that AliExpress was too scammy. I didn't really have a plan for my store after I published it and that was a huge mistake. I kind of thought that the sales would just start rolling in after I was done with my site. And then when they didn't start rolling in, I just thought it was my products and I kept adding more and more products. That's the pit that I see many young entrepreneurs fall into. They can't focus in on a specific set of products and they fall victim to shiny object syndrome. I basically had no budget and no knowledge of advertising when I was just starting out. And that hurt me because I was learning advertising after my store had already launched. The $30 a month for Shopify was a huge dent in my budget. So I ended up running like one or two Facebook ads and obviously not making any money. Then I focused in on the men's fashion accessories niche and I built an Instagram page and ran a few influencer ads too. I basically ran through my entire budget so I kind of gave up on my store. A few weeks later I got a completely random sale from Pinterest for some like necklace that I was drop shipping from Etsy really weird but it really motivated me because I saw that it was actually possible to make sales doing this. Unfortunately but probably for the best I just shut down that store because I ran through my entire budget and it just wasn't cost effective at all. I quit dropshipping for like a year after that. I believe that store failed because I just didn't have a solid plan going into it nor did I have a good budget. I didn't do enough research and the research that I did do was all in the wrong places. I kid you not, I remember doing all this research about email marketing and rewards programs when I had yet to make a single sale. What I wish I had done was found one or two really good YouTubers and just watched all their videos and copied their strategies word for word. Then copy what's working for other people product wise. Don't have a whole bunch of advertising channels or anything because it just makes it way more complicated than it needs to be. Your store should take a week tops to build and then you should just be focused on marketing. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that I saved you the misery of your first store failing. Even if it does, try try again because it is so worth it. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.